Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and part two of this three part series. So if you missed part one, where we completely made over the room that I'm actually sitting in right now, I will leave it linked down below because it was a beautiful bohemian DIY collage wall makeover. So definitely catch up on part one and then come back and watch part two or watch part two and then go back and watch part one, whatever you like. This is a five room makeover series. Over three weeks, I'm tackling two bedrooms, two closets, and a bathroom. So today we got the closets and the bathroom. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off with Zoe's closet because that is the bedroom that we already have completed. Um, so why not make it all perfect? Had a little bit of a head start because we hung this DIY mirror project that we worked on in the last video. So for these closets, I want it to be well organized, so to speak, so that they can grow into it and then add in stuff as they, you know, grow up in these rooms. Just gonna start with removing everything from the closet, really starting with a clean slate and then tasking the girls to go through the stuff, see what they wanna donate, and just kind of get everything organized. We are getting rid of their baby hangers. I'm going to be using these ultra slim velvet hangers. They're basically non-slip. I actually get them from Home Goods, 25 for 9.99. So we can donate all of these small pink hangers for you know a little girl. Would love to have them, I think. The girls have just really outgrown these smaller slick hangers. I actually use these velvet hangers in my own closet, and I love them. They're super compact and flat, and then keep your clothes hanging just right. I want this side to be dresses longer items, dresses, and since they don't have many dresses, I'll also put coats here, tops, shorter top, and then pants on the bottom. And of course, color coordinating. Fading from light to dark. I feel like color coordinating is like the simplest way to make your closet look super organized. So as you separate by category, you color coordinate in the same way in every category, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of fading from white to yellow to pink to purple to black, and then doing that for jackets and pants and sweaters as well. These closets are really large. There's definitely a lot more room for more storage. And just as they grow into these spaces, they'll be off to a good start. I got these peachy heather colored storage bins from Target and they went with the coloring that we did in the room. So I thought it was like a nice kind of tie in with this little bit of a peachy pink color. In these, we're gonna store undergarm, underwear, undergarments and leggings. But I tried them on the shelf. They're too tall. Like they just kind of like crowd where the clothes are so what we're thinking is once everything else is in here maybe they just like might look good just kind of like here instead of having another cabinet i was hoping that these storage bins would actually fit on the shelf because i feel like it would look more organized but at the same time i think they'll do for their purpose and then also color coordinating their sleep shirts placing them right underneath the color that's hanging above will also keep a very like clean organized look a definite for their room was a laundry basket. I actually got this huge, great laundry basket from the thrift store for like $3.99. Cleaned it up and saved it for them and I felt like it would be really nice in this corner. Instead of having the shoes on the floor for both closets, I picked up this Ikea. I actually think that this is a like TV console table. I thought it would be just a good thing for shoes because it's really narrow and then it has the two shelves. In Zoe's actual room, we didn't have any place for all of her many <laughs> achievements. So she's got all of these medals. So we're just gonna color coordinate these as well on this board. So we're just gonna hang it here in the closet. I always like to put something personal in each room and these medals are such a huge accomplishment. I want them somewhere in the space even though it's the closet. And then just adding a final touch with a DIY I recently did.
is the bathroom. So for the bathroom design, I really wanted to go with something super simple, but that had a really beautiful impact. In this bathroom, I just felt like it was a white box. It had kind of great bones. It was just waiting for some added character. So bringing in some very simplistic, but beautiful decor and also painting the walls in a beautiful kind of neutral beige color will really help to break up the starkness of the space. So the color that we're gonna be painting this room is Brandy Cream from the Benjamin Moore collection. Immediately when I started painting the room, I knew it was going to warm it up a lot and make it so much more inviting. This color looks so good in here. It's really soft, but it just doesn't make it look like a white box that just needed a little bit of character. I didn't want to overdo the bathroom. I really wanted it to be just kind of like a tranquil, calming place. So a little bit of art, a little bit of like wall decor, maybe some shelves above the toilet and some little like decorative accessories and of course a really pretty shower curtain. I have this really pretty piece of art from Desenio that I thought would be perfect here. Super simple but like really inviting and warm and ties in some of the boho vibes. Okay so for above the toilet I felt like there was just like an empty space and I didn't want to put another picture there because obviously we have the pretty kind of like wildflower picture. So I just picked up this pack of two shelves from the Threshold Collection at Target. And I thought they would be kind of pretty just like staggered, maybe with some bathroom essentials on it. And they're just like simple shelves. When I'm designing, I like to play with numbers a little bit. So since we had one picture, I went with two shelves to kind of balance it out and make it look different and also complement each other. Hanging things that have two holes can always be really tricky. So I always use this laser level. I just measure out the distance between the holes and hang them up. So these two canisters, I actually found at the thrift store, let's see how much they were, $2.99, and I don't remember. I think they were both $2.99. A little bit of cleanup and loving care, they would be really pretty in a bathroom. So I've been holding onto these for quite a while because they would be so pretty with like cotton balls and Q-tips and stuff like that for the bathroom. I just washed the glass containers really good inside and out and noticed that the rubber suction on the lid had just really rotted out. So I just clipped it off, took it off, washed the lids really well, took off any stickers and what a difference it made. Whoa, they look so much cleaner. Oh my gosh, they were so cloudy on the inside. This is probably more cotton balls than they're ever going to need. But when you're that age, you do your nails a lot, especially during quarantine. So I thought these containers were beautiful for just some cotton balls and some Q-tips for beautiful kind of bathroom accessories that are also functional. I feel like a place that always has really good bath salts and soaps, really pretty stuff for the bathroom is TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. I feel like this was so pretty. And you guys, I have had this stuff since February. For a shower curtain, I found this really pretty crochet shower curtain at Target. And I was like, oh, bohemian, crochet, wildflowers, natural color. I felt like it was gonna be so pretty. And I'm just gonna reuse the, um, also gonna reuse their shower liner in here. Oh my gosh, and it has pretty tassels on the inside. When you're renting, you could be limited on what you can do to really make it feel like a home and feel warm and inviting. If you can paint, I highly recommend it as it's an easiest way to transform a space. And then hanging some art, maybe with some command strips to not damage the wall, can really help to just bring a little bit of character and make it feel more you. So to bring in another natural element and some more black to really tie everything in at Home Goods, I found I tend to not like bath mats. Like when you're looking for specifically for bath mats, I feel like the best place that I've seen them, the one that I have is from Urban Outfitters and sometimes Target, but otherwise I just kind of like real rugs, like normal rugs. So I got this one for in here, put multiple mats in here and it just wouldn't look as good. You'd have one by the tub, one by the sink, and then one around the toilet. And I don't like when there's so many rugs. Look how pretty this is. And then for towels in here, especially like pretty display towels, which they're 
absolutely going to use. Um, there was so much texture in the rug and then we brought in the print which had a lot of movement in it. I didn't want to add any more black in here so I wanted something really tonal so I got these at Home Goods too. Just adding in a few more decorative accessories and of course they're gonna customize this to be functional for them but I just added in some pretty details for now. So moving on to closet number two, it is a little bit of a different shape, but it has a lot more railings where you can hang clothes and Ava has a lot more clothing. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna get everything out and we're gonna rehang everything onto new hangers. We got two packs and lots of clothes to hang. So similar to the other closet, we're gonna just make it a lot more organized, make it all flow together. And I feel like when a space is organized at this age or any age, it's so much easier to keep it clean. So definitely on this side, it's more for longer stuff, dresses. We could probably put the shoe organization there. Pretty much longer stuff here too, because it doesn't have a cabinet underneath. So organizing by type of clothing first, and then by color, fading from light to dark. Baskets are also a great solution for your closet just to have like, I was thinking like leggings. The rooms aren't quite large enough for a desk and a dresser. And since they had these big closets, it just made sense for us to organize like all of the stuff that you'd normally put in a dresser into the closet. I've actually been collecting these baskets on my thrifting trips. And of course you're never gonna find the same basket multiple times at thrift stores. So what I was looking for were ones that were square. They had straight edges and they were sturdy, maybe or maybe did not have handles. So this one was $3.99, $3.49. Not bad for storage. Storage pieces, especially baskets, can get pretty expensive. I like to roll my leggings at home, so I thought it would be helpful for her too, just to kind of see what she was looking for so I just rolled leggings and sweatpants in this one and then in, in the other basket we organized some of her undergarments and then just placed them on the shelf and I folded all of her sleep shirts and of course organized them by color just stacking them on the shelf as well and then organized all of her shoes on the same IKEA console table as we used in the other closet huge progress now it's, we just need to do like the top shelves and kind of organize some of her like caboodles and blankets and stuff like that so Ava is going through some of the items that she had on the top shelf she's gonna take over organizing some of that stuff back into the closet short sleeve more summer stuff back here we have her jackets and then here are long sleeves and dresses sweatpants and jeans and then we organized all of her leggings and more sweatpants and undergarments and some more sleep shirts and then her shoe rack. She needed a laundry basket. I love having my laundry basket in my closet for some reason. So I just picked up this really cute one from Target.
So I hope you guys enjoyed part two of this three-part series. And if you haven't checked out part one, I'll leave it linked down below. And don't forget to check out the vlog for the complete behind the scenes of this entire series over on my vlog channel, Exo McKenna Vlogs. Next week is the final part in this three-part series. We're doing another bedroom. Still with the same kind of vibe, very bohemian, but lots of more warm tones. I have some great pieces that I've been collecting for months and months and months to put into this room. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I post new DIY room makeover videos, thrift flip videos every Sunday. So you're not going to want to miss them. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every week. And I will see you guys next Sunday for the final reveal of all of the spaces. Bye guys. Close because... I love color curling clothes. That's the funnest part. Upgrading from baby hangers. <laughs> holders? This is called shower holders. Rings?